Me and Mommy are in the middle of a super secret treasure. What are you wearing? Sock pants. Oh, he doesn't like to feel the breeze on his legs. Mark Bridges is a genius. He has such respect for the actor that even if he and his director have a singular vision, they want it to be a collaboration and they want to help you invent. You could do it with or without the jacket or whatever. I kind of love like. the jacket. Don't you think it's... We have two coasts. We have two qualities of light. I've tried to use palettes that are a little cooler in New York and then use colors like rusts and avocados and aquas and things for California. Part of Scarlett's character's story is that she felt defined by being married to Charlie and she's now trying to figure out herself. So for instance, when Scarlett first is visiting Nora's office, she's wearing a gray shirt. In a way, she's kind of almost recessed into the walls. She's not yet fully formed in a way. And when we see her back in that room later in the movie, Mark gave her an orange shirt and we feel a real presence in the room. I want a MacArthur Grant. <gasps> Charlie! But Adam's character, I felt always, is that he's just gonna sort of stubbornly dress how he wants to dress no matter what the temperature and where he is because he doesn't like to be taken out of his comfort zone. During the legal process, so much about what these lawyers are doing is performance. It's all an act. Clothes are obviously a big part of that, too. It's the energy they want to create on behalf of their client. So if they need to seem tough or available or emotional or one of the girls, they dress for that occasion. It's kind of amazing. It takes so much confidence and sensitivity to serve the character in the story. And Mark does this so beautifully. Let me see, you got your sock pants. Just by the time you finish this movie, this is going to be your spot. <laughs>